Hey there, I'm Emma, back to do the final video of our series, Creating One Page Reports. This is video four, Final Touches. If you've missed our first three videos, do make sure to check those out. The walk through uh, why and what is a one page report, then go into the basic foundations, and then go over visual strategies. Again, this is video four, Final Touches. We hope you enjoy. So in thinking about your 10 steps, we've already walked through one through four, or sorry, steps one through eight in the first video series. Um, and now we're concluding in steps nine and 10 in this video. So the la uh, second to last step is get feedback. And when we're thinking about getting feedback on our one page report, we really wanna think about who might be a good person to get feedback from. And so right now I just kinda wanna brainstorm with you. Um, some good people. So if you're co-creating a one-page report, your co-author, if they're not involved in that first few steps of drafting, the layout, etc., they'd be a great person to turn to first. That person's going to be able to give you a critical eye and help you really identify issues where it may not be working. You also could, could, could consider your client. So perhaps you're working with a client that's open to providing feedback on reports. That person would be a great person to provide context, make sure your audience is aligned, make sure that information is really being reported out right there. So you may be thinking to yourself, okay, this is good, we found a reviewer, but how do we really communicate what we're asking them to do? Well, we actually encourage you to just send along the uh, one, the step, one step, sorry, the 10 steps to creating one page report document. It goes through steps one through 10, um, but actually the handout um, and the worksheet might be helpful because it provides a little bit more information and would give your reviewers places to write information down. I'm just going to walk through those steps that they're going to be reviewing really quick, give a brief overview, but these are covered in our first, our video two and video three of this series, and we do encourage you to check those out for more information. Really in identifying the audience, um, you want to provide this to your reviewer up front that you're you're aiming to communicate this information to what audience? So maybe it's college administrators or your funder, the National Science Foundation. And you want to make sure your piece is at the right level for your audience. Also, you want to give them your purpose. So what is the purpose of this one pager? What are you hoping to communicate? Um, this information can be validated by your reviewer or they might say, nope, this is not right. You're kind of missing the point here. And this is really good information to get feedback on. Step three is prioritize inf information. And this, inf this they can tell you, just say, this is the information I see and this is what I'm getting from this. And this may or may not align with what you're hoping to get. Steps four and five are starting in the visual strategies, but we wanna make sure that our alignment is good, that we have a good visual layout here. And that's information that's really helpful in getting that one page report to look nice. Also, creating an intentional visual path covered in video three. Is your reviewers going right to the bottom corner of your page and getting stuck there and never even reading the rest of the page? This is information that's really good to hear and get feedback on. A purposeful hierarchy. Again, you don't want your reader going down the page and getting stuck in certain spots or missing sections because you haven't used your hierarchy right. And also the use of white space is another crucial thing. And steps four through eight are covered in video three, visual strategies for creating one page reports. But again, these are covered in both our handout and our worksheet and are really essential for your feed, uh, reviewers to give feedback on. And do keep in mind after you get this feedback, it's perfectly normal to have to go in a loop again, maybe back to step five, draft a layout, or possibly even back to draft one or two, right? Because there's a possibility that maybe you just kind of weren't right on the steps and having to go back is perfectly normal. I've had to go back to step two, all the way back down again and get more feedback. And that just makes a better one page report. So the final step is triple checking consistency. And that we're really talking about your fonts, your alignment, the size of your fonts and the color use. Um, so this is actually something I do encourage you to talk about your, with your, your, your reviewers um, because these simple, small inconsistencies in your document may lead your audience to question the validity of your data and the validity of the report. And you never wanna have a challenge against your audience like that. 
So make sure your alignments are all the same, whether they're left aligned or justified. Make sure you're not using multiple fonts throughout your document. Use the worksheet we provided and actually write those down. Keep track of those things. Make sure your colors, you know, you don't want to use a rainbow here on your document. Um, you know, use your colors consistency and this will consistently and it will make your documents better. So that is it for steps uh, 1 through 10 here. We hope you enjoyed this video. Um, check out our website, evaluate.org forward slash one pagers. Alyssa and I would love to hear from you. Our contact information is available through our website. And we hope you have a wonderful day and enjoyed learning about creating one page reports. Thank you.